What's going on guys? Just want to give my full uh, predictions on this whole Titus O'Neil heel turn against Darren Young sort of thing. Now if you guys remember back in 2012 uh, and WWE of that matter in that time, crime time, uh, Shad Gaspard and JTG, JTG still in the business surprisingly so, um, not really getting the treatment of a WWE superstar but uh, nonetheless WWE's crime time had a similar feud that Titus O'Neil and Darren Young are going through right now. Uh, Titus O'Neil broke up with Darren Young on SmackDown. Shad Gaspard did the same to JTG uh, over on SmackDown as well uh, uh, just a few years back. Now, Shad Gaspard in 2012 took to Twitter saying how WWE is making the prime time players reasonably close, at least, to the crime to uh, to crime time. Um, now crime time, prime time, just got my words mixed up earlier in this video, uh, so I'd pretty much say WWE is following in the footsteps of that feud, I mean, whether they know it or not, I mean, WWE crime time, JTG, Shad Gaspard, that whole feud, uh, the more, the more, uh, dominant of the group, uh, then breaking up with the least dominant of the group and then setting out to be heel, um, which Shad did, which now Titus O'Neil did. Now, <clears throat> if, uh, if this feud does follow in Crime Time's position, they will have, like, a couple weeks matches, a couple, uh, a couple, a couple of matches throughout the next couple weeks, um, uh, possibly a pay-per-view match, which Shad and JTG had, but, I mean, I doubt Titus and Darren Young, uh, maybe just a Raw match, a big match on Raw, uh, they might even do it on SmackDown, but, I mean, they should do it on Raw, and then after that, I mean, the heel won, I believe Shad won, and then a couple weeks after Shad was released, and now look what happened to JTG, you barely know he's on the roster. So, I mean, by the looks of it right now, Titus O'Neil is just going to be a huge dominant guy. I mean, look at the guy on your screen. Um, he should be challenging for the United States or Intercontinental Championships. Uh, will that happen? I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean... Following in the footsteps of Crime Time, shit, Titus O'Neil might get released and Darren Young stay in the company. But I mean, things change within the WWE. I'm just voicing my opinions right now, saying how they're pretty similar and and uh, how Shad said they were similar a couple of years ago when uh, when the Prime Time players first came to be. But uh, no millions of dollars chance. Titus O'Neil versus Zack Ryder last month, uh, last night on Raw, pretty much just squashed him in a matter of less than five minutes. Um. But Titus O'Neil, I mean, in a good WWE, Titus O'Neil should be at least United States Intercontinental Champion. Uh, I, I don't understand why primetime players didn't get the chance to become the WWE Tag Team Champions. Uh, after Darren Young, that whole big scenario with him, they had a push for a couple weeks. I don't know why it stopped. I mean, uh, New Age Outlaws, come on. Uh, why, why the heck uh, are they like the new WWE Tag Team Champions? The Road Brothers, the Brotherhood were great. The Usos, 7-0. 7-0 in 2014 so far. And the Primetime Players, a great dominant tag team behind Titus O'Neil and Darren Young, just break up and that's how it is. I mean, <clears throat> I just don't get it, honestly. Uh... Titus O'Neil is a huge dominant man. I mean, I keep saying this, and uh, and Darren Young, he's not bad. He's he's the definition of mid card talent. I mean, look at him. Darren Young in a good WWE could also be possibly United States champion. I mean, wrestlers of his sort have won the title before. I just don't understand why uh why Titus O'Neil why why not Darren Young why not Titus O'Neil be up there. Why not just be singles competition? Uh, I mean, Titus O'Neil turning heel. What exactly is the point to make him more dominant? I understand, but uh, hopefully since he didn't feud with Darren Young last night on Raw, maybe he'll just put a few people away in the next couple weeks and hopefully have a plan for him after that. I mean, not like Ryback crushing a couple guys and then hopefully and then just becoming like a tag team with some random guy. Uh, I mean, we'll see, guys. Nothing against WWE at all. Titus O'Neil's great talent. Darren Young's great talent. I just don't get if they're doing the same thing Crime Time did. Crime Time. But I think Prime Time players could have been great tag team champions.